and before she said goodbye, she killed four more of my men and she left six bullets in my side. My ship surgeon, I guess he did what he could, but he needed half a dozen drinks just to half calm his nerves. And when I came to, his speech was still slurred and there wasn't any leg below my left femur. <laughs> <laughs> Since that day, I was a man with a plan. Sell the oceans, find that chopper, shoot it up and take it down. It was the only thing I thought of as I sailed the seven seas. Taking jobs, chasing rumours and running down leads. It was five years later when I finally got my chance. I was smuggling fake Rembrandts off the west coast of France when my first mate told me he'd seen a radar blip moving slower than a jet, but faster than a ship. My crew took up defensive positions. I raised my binoculars to my eyes. It was like I was seeing that chopper for the very first time. It hung there in the sky, ancient, white, bloated and sinister. But I guess someone must have tipped them off about the justice I was planning to administer because instead of landing on deck and falling into that trap, that chopper's bay doors opened and it began to attack. A lot of gunfire started lighting up my ship. Everyone scrambled for cover, but a lot of men got hit. From the bridge, I could see her dropping down from a cord. As soon as she hit the deck, her boat started listening to port. One of the Somalians was screaming we were taking water on board, but the ship was incidental. I had revenge on my mind. I staggered across that deck like a Nova Scotia tide. But by the time I got close, my Rembrandts were wired and the crate was lifting up on the rope that she climbed. The chopper rotors were screaming as they hauled away my prize. I pulled my sidearm from its holster, pointed the muzzle to the sky and I cried. Towards thee I roll, O oh foul, all conquering but unstoppable chopper. For hate's sake I spit at thee, and from hell's heart I will glock ya. <laughs> I pulled the trigger till the magazine clicked clean, and I dropped that nine to the slanted deck and watched it slide into the sea. Every round I fired it clattered off that foul beast's flank. Bore on carbide armor like some gruesome floating tank. And I guess I've been pretty focused as I walked across that deck, too preoccupied to notice the rope around my artificial leg. By the time I realized was when I heard that awful hissing sigh, and then that cord snapped taut and I was hauled into the sky. And as I fell up into that infinite blue, I looked down from above, saw the remains of my crew, jumping from the wreck as the deck snapped in two. Not a lifeboat among them, not one flotation aid. Only one man I know who survived that raid. And when they hauled him from the soup, and they asked him his name, he spat out a lungful of brine and said, call me Ishmael. 